everybody. Ooh, there's a terrible shadow. Um, welcome. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, and I apologize. You're going to look at my very messy desk in a moment. I've been just all over the place. Um, but I wanted to miss my Facebook Lives, and I wanted to be sure and jump on today. And I didn't plan to show you the little ornaments that um, that I'm going to show you, but I was at a um, a retreat, shop, crop, and roll over the weekend, and the response was overwhelming to these ornaments, and I was not prepared for that. So um, I wanted to show them to you and tell you about some things that are coming up, and um, as well as ask, you know, would you all like to have a class like this where you can come and make your own ornaments? Um, of course, you can't answer that because I haven't showed them to you yet, but um, but that's kind of what, what I'm, I'm thinking here, is that maybe we should have a class and do that. Um, these ornaments would be great uh, as ornaments or as um, tags on a gift. And there are lots and lots of possibilities. And even I can see that. Y'all know I'm not the designer. I don't have that creative eye. But I see lots of possibilities for these. So I think you will too. So let me switch cameras. And again, uh, just please try to ignore my messy desk because it, it is... It is messy. Um, how am I going to... Oh, sorry. Ecamm did another update. And where is my... Okay, guys. I didn't test this, so... Is that going to be... Okay. I think... I think that's got it, but you're looking kind of like that, so let me push that down a bit. Okay, so these are four of the little ornaments that I have made, and they're just wooden ornaments. The back is blank. Well, actually, the whole thing is blank when you first open it. I ordered these off at Amazon. No secrets there. So here's what they look like straight out of them. They're just an unfinished wood um, but they stamp really fun. The Buffalo Check is one of my favorite stamps in the holiday catalog, and I thought it would be really fun to do on some ornaments like this. So this one um, is Buffalo Check in real red, and then I stamped the tree from Winter Woods twice. Um, let me see if I can see. So it's really hard to tell, but there are two, there are two layers here. So there's one layer on the back, okay, so I stamped out, stamped it and then cut out the outline with the framelit. And then the second tree stamped cuts out and adds these little layers um, of branches. And then you can see all the shimmer on it because you know that's got some Stella, right? I really like Stella. And then some little red uh, rhinestone jewels as well. Finish it out. This is the first one I did and it's still kind of up there in my top. It's one of my favorites. Or I've only done four, so, you know, but it really is a favorite. Um, this one, I took my Real Red ink from my reinker uh, and watercolored the background. Okay, just added a little bit of water and, um, and painted the base of the ornament and then stamped it in black on the buffalo check. And then this little Santa is from the Signs of Santa stamp set and framelit and he's got some Stella on him too. A little bit you can see. And I could probably do some more shading than I did. Um but I, I that little that little stamp set is um is very fun to play with. So I don't know if you can tell I gave him a little pink nose and pink cheeks as well. Of course the lighting is not gonna be my friend. And I didn't get good photos of this today either. Now the snowman are lots of lots of fun from Spirited Snowman, but I did have to fussy cut them out, meaning there's not a framelit that goes with this. Now, if you have a silhouette or a cricket, you can probably uh, set it up to do a um, scan and cut. Um, I actually fussy cut. It's really not that difficult to do, and, and they are super cute, and their bodies have got lots of shimmer. Darn, this is really hard to show. Okay, well, their bodies are all got all kinds of Stella on them as well. And I colored them with the blends, the Stampin' Blends alcohol markers. The background color here is um, Blueberry Bushel. So, and this one is, all, I also colored him in um, 
with the Stampin' Blends. This is, um, I believe I did Shaded Spruce was my green that I used here, but we'll, we'll do this one again and I'll, and I'll show you. Um, some of the other things that I thought of for the ornaments would be, so this Merry Christmas to All bundle has some framelits that go with it. And they disappeared on me. Where did they go? Oh my gosh. I had them. Oh, here they go. Okay. Sorry. Panicked. So in the Merry Christmas to All thinlets, you have Holiday and Happy, Merry, and Christmas. And you've got a couple of little labels too. So I thought it might be fun to cut out, say, um, Mary in from the thinlet. I don't know if that's going to be too big or not. Um, I didn't have a chance to measure it. So let's see how that, how much that would hang over. So I think that would work okay. So Mary like that, and then do a label with, with Christmas or do the holiday it's actually holidays but how about you cut off the S and then do um, okay happy and then holidays or actually no you would not cut off the S um, so happy holidays or Merry Christmas um, or you could do, you know, I think there's a lot of possibilities here, and I'm going to keep playing with those. So um, let's do let's do one of those here. Um, let me run down some of the possibilities, and then we'll we'll get busy and we'll we'll try and make some. Uh, how about the owl from Still Night? There's a framelit for that, so you could actually maybe do um, do a branch and and the owl sitting on the ornament. Um, I don't know if I got his framelits out, but he has framelits. And then in November, you know, so tomorrow, customers can purchase from the Snowfall Showcase. Oh, I didn't say that right at all. But what about this big snowflake um, on, yeah, we may have to do that one. Um, do a big snowflake on the background and that might even be pretty not just on the buff not on a buffalo check but um, some sort of other thing so that's just a few ideas that I had um, and I bet you've got more so jump in and let me know what possibilities you see and let's play and if you'd be interested in coming to a class and making some ornaments yourself then let me know that as well Okay, all right, so let's do, what did I say? I, wanted to, I said I wanted to do the winter woods. So let, let's repeat that, and then we'll look at something, something different. So I have the Buffalo Check stamp set already positioned on my stamp apparatus. And now I've pushed you all too far forward. So here's my Stamparatus. And have you all seen there are some accessories now for the Stamparatus? Grid paper, extra, um, extra plates for um, so that you can do even more multi-step stamping. Right, let's put this one under here. And just test it, make sure. Okay. So, I mean, I can't really use a magnet on this, but the... Oh, can't even speak. I had a long day, long week. I bet you all have two. And now we're going to get all our kids hyped up on sugar. So I'm curious. We have a lot of trick-or-treaters in our neighborhood. Now we didn't. We, we moved into this neighborhood when Hardin was um, 16, 17 months old. And that first Halloween, there were no 
maybe Janet and Bruce at the very end of the street. Um, but that was it. All right, let's come over. So I'll come over with Memento. Hopefully I've inked that up really well. I actually store my Memento pad like this so that the pad is upside down so that the ink stays on the surface. I do ink up my Memento pad pretty frequently. Now, before I flip this over, let me tell you one thing that I did. I did not washi tape and block my little hanger. Oh, that's lovely. So I really like that rustic look there. Um, I really do. All right, so I'm just going to set that aside. I'm not going to necessarily feel like I have to clean that right now. Because I want to get to the good stuff, right? I've got no place to put everything. Big messes. Okay, so I'm going to grab the Shaded Spruce ink. <laughs> if I've created enough room. So I really haven't put everything away very well from my weekend away. This retreat was so much fun. So hopefully some of the people I met on my weekend are actually able to watch today. Um, we had so much fun. I met all kinds of crafters. Forgive me for digging around in blocks over here. I forgot to get a block out. And I want winter woods. Okay, so here is my tree. All right, red rubber stamp. So I don't need any sort of surface. It's got lots of cushion there. Remember with your ink pads, you just want to lightly press, really just gravity, okay? If you press down into your ink pad, then you are pressing ink into the crevices, the recessed areas of your stamp. And that can then, if you press hard on your paper, can transfer into a muddy image in what we call halos. So I'm going to press down, gentle pressure, and then come right back up. And then I'll do it again so that I can repeat the same thing. Do this twice. And I'll press it twice. Now I would love to tell you that there's some magic box over here and that I have already cut this out with a big shot, but I did not. So you get to endure that with me as well today. So clean that off a little bit. And if I don't kind of clean as I go, we won't have enough room to do anything up here today. So let me do that. Get my block out of the way. See if I can make enough room for the big shot up here. Otherwise, I'll have to do that off camera, which is probably a better idea anyway. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it off camera. Sorry. But let me show you the dies. So this one is going to cut out the outline of the tree. And then this one is going to come back in on the second image and cut out, um, um, oh heck, a smaller tree that kind of fits in like that and provide the detail with these branches. Okay, so I've got my big shot kind of underneath this table and I usually just kind of roll it towards me. All right, there it goes. Oh, it's backwards. Now, so this is how I'm going to place it. I've got my magnetic platform, all right? And I have a, an acrylic plate. And then my framelit. Did you hear it click to the to the magnet, so that's going to hold it in place to my shape. And I apologize if you all are making comments and such. I can't see that right now. Um, I don't know if I have got something not set up correctly on my software that I'm using to do the video or if um, 
or just what, but I don't have any other device that's playing the video so that I can read your comments. And maybe that's for the better. That might be distracting for you. But I will come back and read your comments and, and respond um, after trick-or-treating. I'm just going to run that through the big shot. So all that you missed was me cranking. And then here's my die cut, my tree, my base tree. And then here's my other. And I'm just giving a little, <laughs> little flick. There it goes to release it. Now that little trick doesn't always work, but it's kind of helpful when it does. All right. I'm getting my big shot back out of the way. And so what I did after this was kind of just lift up. You see, I'm just taking the paper piercing tool and lifting it up. Now, you don't need a tool. You could do this with your fingers or your bone folder. Just figure out what, what works best for you. And then you get to flip them up just as, you know, as much or as little as you like. And there, so I've given it some extra dimension. I think that's why I like this particular ornament design so much, because it has this little extra dimension. Now... Stella. I'll go ahead and put Stella on before I put it together too, I think. So this is a Wink of Stella. It is one of my favorite products. And I wish I had a new one, an unopened one to show you because there's a trick to opening your Stella. When you first get your Stella, there's this little black ring that sits right here in the middle between the top and the base. And you need to open this up, and actually I think you have to unscrew it, take out the ring that's down here, not the one that's on top, but the one that sits right here. Take that off, throw it away, you never need it again. Screw this together, and then you've got the words push on either side, and that's what lets you prime the, the, the marker, the glitter, the paint, whatever, you'll see it come into the barrel here. And that's when you know you are ready to start. Now with the watercolor inks, my, my green will um, blend a bit. I'm okay with that. Now you could use a shimmer paint too. Um, you could take a sponge dauber. I need to try one of those. Um, this still is acting like maybe it needs an Maybe I need a new one. Uh, I think I'll have to order that. So, did you all see my post about the uh, Stampin' Up's birthday celebration next week in Orlando? I earned, with the help of my customers and my fabulous team, the Stampin' Queens, I earned um, a bonus of the celebration at Epcot for the Silver Elite, Silver Elites and above. Silver Elite is a just a, a title um, for achieving a certain size team and level of sales. So, thank you all very much. I'm quite excited for, for that, that celebration. So now I've got, I'm hoping you can see the shimmer on this one pretty well, I think. Um, now, I'm going to adhere it to my main tree with dimensionals. And I think I have some mini dimensionals in my drawer there. And I use little pokey tools. Now, I used quite a few of the dimensionals and adhesive on this project um, because I felt like it needed to be kind of durable. You know, normally, for a card, you might not use this many. Okay. I think the 
that's pretty good. And we don't have a trash can up here. I'll just run the Roomba tomorrow. I love my Roomba. Come on. So is anybody dressed up? If you're dressed up, place, uh, please post a photo of you in costume. I did not dress up today, although there was some discussion in the family that we would go as the Incredibles this year. That kind of fell by the wayside. Yeah, I've got that a little high. Let's see if I can undo it. And they were predicting rain, so the big debate was whether or not we should buy candy for tonight. You know, don't want to get stuck with a bunch of candy that we're going to eat. So I ended up, when the forecast looked like it was going to be favorable for trick-or-treating, I ran to the store last night and bought candy. Now, I work from home unless I'm traveling, <laughs> so... I don't have an office to take that candy to tomorrow if it doesn't get picked up by trick-or-treaters, so um, my husband does. I'll be sending it with him tomorrow. All right, so that's got all of that popped up. Now, to adhere it to the ornament, I want it, it to lift up. I'm not quite so sure that I like it on the black. Hmm. Well, okay. Um, I'm going to give it a try anyway. Oh, I do like it in the picture. I just don't like it. it must be the angle I'm looking at it. Um, I want it to be on dimensionals, right? So, but I was afraid that the dimensionals might not stick as well to the ornament. So I also used glue dots. Let me show you how that works because you've probably seen, we've done this before on some other projects. So I put a dimensional down. So I'm going to put all these dimensionals on. And like I said, I want this to be pretty durable on the ornament. And I did let it stick off just a little. Okay, so then I'm going to peel the backs off. And then I'm going to come back with a glue dot and put a glue dot ah, on each dimensional. And the glue dot is a very strong adhesive and we'll just reinforce it. If I had just used glue dots and not the dimensional, then it would, wouldn't have that, that raised appearance, that extra dimension. All right, so now let's put this down. To give my head being in the camera. Maybe on the left. I think we'll do it on the left this time. There's my dimension. All right, now the question is do we use rhinestones, pearls? I've even got some black rhinestones that are probably not current or use the red again. And the answer is going to be whichever ones I lay my hands on first. Um, I had them, I had them, I had them, I had them. Dad, got it. There they are. Okay, red ones. Found the red ones. So what do you think of these little guys? So they're pretty easy. The hard work was probably already cutting the wood, right? It needs a little bling. Bling's better for everything, right? Says the woman who never wears makeup. Well, no, not never. Okay, 
So, there's a black and white version of the tree. What do you think? I like it pretty well. But I really want to try, so I'm going to do another black one. And then I think I want the Mary in red glimmer paper and and then maybe Christmas in the label. How's that sound? And a snowflake. I want to do a snowflake too. All right, and then we'll call it done for today, right? It's time to get trigger treating. All right, so here's the Mary stamp set. We'll need that for the label. Here's this label. Now, sometimes with these um, photopolymer framed um, stamps like this, it can be a little tricky to get it straight. And I have found that if I lay it down, and pick it up from the block, pick it up with the block. Instead of trying to put it on the block and pick it up, it seems to work better. So we need Mary and Christmas. And I'm probably gonna guess at a color combination that I will wish I had done differently, but I'm going to do I'm going to do the label in real red, and then I'm going to do Christmas in black. This is not a red rubber. This is photopolymer, so I need to give it a little extra cushion. So that's why I'm pulling out my silicone mat. But again, stand straight down, straight up. Then let's do Christmas. I love working with the photopolymer because you can see where you're placing it and you can see if you're well inked. Okay, so that turned out okay so far. Close this up because I think I want a black ornament. So let's do that again. And for time's sake, I think I'm going to fussy cut that label out instead of... No, I still have to use the big shot, so I might as well do the whole thing. Okay. So I'm using the... I've got the grid paper down from the new accessories. I like like working with grid paper, like protecting my surface. It's nice to be able to line things up. Doesn't matter so much for the ornament, maybe, except that I do kind of want it even there, All right? Now I will take my marker and come back, most likely, and give the top of the ornament a solid um, a solid top like I did on this one. So I came back and made it black. Made my fingers black. Alright, let's see how that one looks. Gorgeous. Set it aside. And now let's see. Okay. All right, here's the Mary. And I think my red glimmer paper is too big to go through the big shot. Got lots of sparkle going on. All right, let's see how this goes.
So no surprise, it's exactly the way you saw me do the other one. Line it up and then crank it through. Now for things that have some fine detail like this, I'll probably go through the big shot, I'll run it back and forth a couple of times so that it releases. I get a good um, a good crisp cut. The glimmer paper went through some changes in this annual catalog, so it's um, a little easier to work with. And confession, mine is not from the new catalog. Mine is, I had some glimmer paper to use up and I have not ordered the new one yet. Ooh, that's all kinds of sparkly. All right, I'm just gonna push through. So I'm gonna turn it over so that I can see a little more easily where the loops are. I need to go out. That one's gonna bigger. There's the E. And then it looks like each of the R's. Nope. nope they don't. So, now this is gonna be really really thin. I didn't think about that. What I might do instead is use our adhesive sheet on this. Um, that'll give it a little more firmness and it will give me adhesive to hold straight to this. Um, well, let's get that, let's figure out how that should be placed. And I am just going to fussy cut this. Fussy cutting just means I'm using my scissors instead of the, the framelit. There is a framelit, so you work with the big shot on this. But I'm just thinking for time's sake, and since this is a sample, I'm just going to fussy cut it. If you don't have a pair of our paper snips, I recommend them highly. Uh, They are an awesome size for doing little detail work like this. I wish I could, I wish that Facebook Live was a more of a video conference so that we could actually carry on a conversation. Not just me and the voices in my head. I would love it if you would like and share my video and I have a host code Let me go ahead and show that too so you can shop online at my website this is the current host code to use if you are placing an order that is under $150 please use that host code everything will ship directly to you now that's actually a little bigger than I wanted it to be, the label that is. So I'm gonna have to play with that a bit. Maybe my ornament isn't dry. Okay, I think I'll come along with that. Um, Originals in the middle. Dang. I really do want to do a snowflake tonight on the video, but I've been on now for over half an hour, and so I'm not I'm not going to. Um, I will play with those and post some examples quickly. So that we can all see them. I don't know if I've got enough room for even a mini dimensional on these. I'm gonna have to cut that up. The edges of the dimensionals are great for 
cutting strips. So let's see how this works. But this may be one that just needs straight glue dots. Or the adhesive strip might be the best idea. Wouldn't have that popped up dimension, but I think that's okay too. Because it's going to be a little hard to get a glue dot on top of these guys. I'd like this to be more secure. I think I think the adhesive sheet's the way to go. So I'll do another one with that. I'm going to kind of flatten out that glue dot. Again, put it on the dimensional. Boy, it's really sticky. Just like it should be. I feel like I'm forgetting to tell you something. Um, okay, so I will post tomorrow about the Snowflake bundle that is available, the Snowflake products that are available in November. Um, these are you know, short term only. They will not be in a future catalog. Um, yeah, see, I need some more. I really like this, but I need, I need to be able to lift up the other letters. So I've got to, I've got to work on that. I've either got to just come flat to the um, ornament, and I think that would be fine. Um, it would be worth it to have that extra durability. But I really, I really like that. Let me know what you think as well. Um, and I, I know I've, I, I jumped on here to show you this and I know that I have skipped many steps along the way um, but like, we need a special right so what's what's the ordering special this week so if you place a $30 order with me this week let's say a $50, $50 order this week I will send you one of these ornaments in the mail um, I'd like to know if you would like to hold a, a class and maybe make five or six ornaments. Um, and I will be at Mistletoe Market with these ornaments for sale November 17th. That'll be at Our Lady of the Lake Church in Hendersonville. That's a great market. Tons of vendors, lots of shopping to do. And this is one of the things that I will have there. I've also got some thankful and Thanksgiving type of of um, gift boxes and stuff, um, lots of Christmas um, gift packaging and cards, um, gift tags. I made the, excuse my reach here, the gift tags from the project kit this week. They are so, so pretty. This is a class on November 25th at my house. We'll put these together. There are, I believe, five different designs. Of course, I can't get all of them out right now, but really pretty. Um, be fun to get together and put together your tags. You'll make 30 tags in that kit, and they come in this little tin to store them with. And then you could use the tin later for um, for a gift, gift packaging as well. You could decorate it. So. I think that's all for today. Thanks so much for being here and for um, hanging in there with my rambling. Let me know what questions you have. And if you'd like to do um, an ornament class, I'd love to have you. I have several classes in November. The All Occasions class, where we make cards like these. These are the classes we made in October, the cards we made in October. So there's the You Are Wonderful. We made Thank You. We made this. This is one, you are wonderful. We made a thinking of you card. Those were from the all occasion class. Then in the Christmas card class, we made this one with the little snowman. Yeah. And we made a holiday wishes. Love, love, love this one. Um, I don't know that you can pick up on the glimmer. I think it's getting the glare. But wrapped in the warmth of Christmas, the little tag looks like it's made of leather. 
and then we made Happy Christmas Wishes. And this is a special fold, a uh, fun fold um, card. And then in the birthday class, we made we made this one using the frosted floral designer series paper. And this one, this is part of the bundle that's available in November. So in the birthday class, um, for $30, you in includes product, you make six unique cards, and then you have leftover product to take home with you to continue making other projects. Lots of um, shimmer paint on these, on these cards. And this one using the Flourish Filigree. So those were the October classes, and in November we have the All Occasion classes, which is the third Thursday of the month. The birthday and Christmas card classes are on, um, I believe they're on a Sunday. Um, I'll have to check my dates. The, um, the mistletoe market kind of impacted my, my dates that are available this month. The um, Timeless Tidings Project Kit class is on November 25th. That's a Sunday afternoon. And there is also a, um, a Christmas Tags. These, this project kit is... Um, is a class in November as well as December and I have those dates posted and in an email that will be coming out this week. So everybody have a fabulous night trick-or-treating. Be safe, don't get wet, and um, we'll talk again soon. Thanks so much for being here.